thank you, thank you, thank you for for all the donations. It's really appreciated. Really appreciated. Thank you so much for that. And That's right. It's for a great cause. And exclamation mark giveaway, by the way, we do have a giveaway going on. Um, for some reason, Ludwig just came into my chat and typed exclamation mark giveaway. So maybe Ludwig's going to join the giveaway himself. <laughs> maybe he'll win that hat. I don't know. Uh, maybe he'll you win know, the hat. Maybe he'll win the hat. Sometimes you don't win <laughs> the tournament, but maybe you could win the hat. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Or a t-shirt. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, exclamation mark giveaway. Um, just, you know, you basically, it's like the kind of thing where you just can do some little random things and get different raffle entries. Uh, so just check that out. And again, yeah, all donations are super duper appreciated. We're, we're trying to read some of them out on, on the stream periodically. Yep. Uh, so yeah, just shout out to everybody who's supported. We got that $10,000 goal for this weekend. Let's keep it going. Let's keep yeah, it going. going. Oh, we say that at the same time. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for that. All mm. right, we got the game here between Mars and IBDW. We'll see um, which player advances in the brackets to the loser semifinals. Um, and once again, one of these players could be the winner of this Smashers Gambit still, even though they're in the in the loser's brackets. That's basically how this works. So the winner of this match here between um, Mars and IBW is going to be playing against Ludwig, who just won against Isam. So we're following this game now. Um, E4 was just a move played. I'm a little bit worried about this D4 pawn after takes, knight takes, and this D4 pawn hanging. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I think that's definitely going to be an issue here. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, let's see, give me one second. Also, thanks so much, Chess Bros, for the raid. Thank you for the Yo. big raid there with over seven hundred people. Really appreciate it. They've been coaching hey, you guys, players like in this tournament. Like, my shirt? like wow. my shirt. I just wanted to. I just wanted to rep. You know, I want to rep on oh, game day. Have fun <laughs> watching the Super Bowl, guys. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the big raid from from Chess Bro. I appreciate that. Shout outs again to Amon who came on the broadcast <laughs> late last night. Got some. Got some fun matches, and Amon got to commentate not one but two uh, scholars mates, which was which was really which was really fascinating. Um, so That's that epic. was that was awesome. The t-shirt is very cool as well. I just gotta say that. I mean, you should you guys should check out their merch. I mean, that was a really cool t-shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really really cool. Yeah, no, they got they got they got sick merch. They got they definitely got sick merch over there. Yep. Bishop d3, okay, he's trying to bring the bishop up to the attack. So no pawn was taken on d4, which is good news for Mars, because otherwise that would just have been a lost pawn. So so yeah, that's uh, that's good news for him. I think that this just looks like a really standard position now. White has a bit more center. Uh, they want to they wanna castle pretty soon. And, you know, Black is just trying to, trying to get their pieces developed and perhaps going c5 at some point b6 bishop b7 and then c5 i think that c5 has to be played at some point because this bishop needs to get out somehow so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll see we'll see what happens here yeah that we'll that's 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 been a theme in some of these uh these other games how did this how did this position start the start as a it looks like queen's gambit declined okay yeah um we got a queen's gambit mars has been going for the queen's gambit maybe he's a fan of the uh the netflix series <laughs> to be honest, I sort of forced him to play it. So it's oh, you did? Me. <laughs> oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. Is that in your repertoire? Yeah, I always play D4. Oh, I nice. just thought, you know, let's just let's just go ahead and play D4, Mars. That's what I told him. And he's been doing it. I hope that I hope that he's happy with it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. well, I take the blame for that otherwise, but <laughs> Yeah. Um also, also just wanted to point out very quickly that, you know, if you are somebody who perhaps you're from the Smash community and, you know, mm -hmm. you've just been watching this tournament and you've, you know, just thought, okay, I want to start playing some chess as well. You can go to go.chess.com slash Anna and, you know, you can sign up for a chess.com membership there. So oh, cool. if you want to do that, do that because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, chess.com is an amazing, amazing chess website to get started with chess. So. That's awesome. Twenty two. There we go. There we have the link. Awesome. Just slash slash a n n a. Yeah, just slash Anna. Wow, that's cool. Is that so. was that in hot contention? Because I mean, there's so many. Again, we talked about how there's so many strong <laughs> players named Anna, uh, just out of nowhere. Was that like how did you how did you work? How did you get, feels like you beat up beat the rest of them out? I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that too. I'm not well gonna done. lie. I don't really well know done. how that happened, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm very very impressive stuff. Okay. You, you know, it's funny because, again, again, just, just bringing back to how the coaches and you can see the preparation for the players, you were saying, Mar Mars loves this Queen A4. You were saying, you showed Mars some Queen A4 stuff. He loves this move now. 
He's a big queen a queen forfeit. Yeah, you know, I mean, in this position, it sort of makes sense because he is attacking the C6 pawn. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, he's been playing. Whoops, sorry, that was not a move being played here. That was just me throwing some stuff out there. Um, But he's just been loving the Queen A4. And, you know, once again, blame is on me. I showed him one trick with Queen A4 and he's been loving that move ever since. But I think Queen A4 here was a good move. So, you know, that was that was good. But yes, he is. Um, he's liking it. He's liking it. <laughs> Okay, bishop b7 was played to defend on c6. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What else are we going to be seeing here? I guess that the queen cannot stay on, on a4 forever, but I think that bringing some rooks in looks very natural to a position. You got to centralize your rooks, make them, make them valuable, but he's going for b4. Wow. All right. Yeah, b4. We... Do you think he's thinking like, okay, my queen's on a4 now. I guess I might as well play over here. Um, guess I should try to blast things open on this side of the... I mean, it, it's an interesting idea. I'm not sure... Huh. Yeah. How, does, how, do you think, uh, how do you think IBDW should try to deflect this just as, as, black, as black over here? I sort of understand why Mars wants to go b4. I guess it's just short perhaps wanting to go b5 or c5 or something. But the issue here is if d takes c4 and bishop takes c4, there's going to be this b5 fork, which is pretty annoying. So he's actually Ooh. just losing a pawn here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, right? Yeah, totally. I see it. Yep. Man. I wonder, so, yeah, I wonder what the idea was with queen a4. Does he just, maybe he just has a, you don't have him on a quota. Like he has to play a certain number of queen a4s or like he, he's <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like <laughs> okay there's there's uh there's okay c5 uh Man, no, I, 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 I wouldn't do that to him <laughs> okay 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 just just wondering just wondering just wondering <laughs> just wondering okay so let's see c5 was played here i don't think there's anything wrong with it he's c5 is typically the idea here for black to just you know try to activate all the pieces try to make this bishop active as well but um i think that yeah the takes c4 was was a good chance but it was not the easiest move to spot mm -hmm. so all right let's see c5 are you a, a d4 player at all for Okay, not white. I, I know was you play for a little while. White, but I was for a little while. while. I oh. was for a little while. I, I play mostly e4, though. I play mostly e4. Hmm. I play mostly e4. So, hmm. yeah. Did you switch from d4 to e4? I I played e4, then I played d4, then I went back to e4. Actually, <laughs> um, so you. I well, I, I yeah, I started with e4 because again, I mean, my my whole thing at the start was like, hmm, if I push. Literally, when I started playing, I was like e4. I get both my queen and my bishop active. D4, I only get one of those active. And whoa. Wow. Mars is, he's committed to this uh, this stuff over on the queen side. But geez, knight b5 there, huh? So hang on a minute. Th there's so many captures that are possible here. There are many captures that, that are possible here. There, there definitely are. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know which one. I guess the d takes c4 makes a lot of sense here once again. Bishop c6. That move, I mean, you know, it pins the knight, so that's that's certainly something. It's a little bit uncomfortable here. Um, mm. I didn't quite see it. What was the best move in that in that position? Was there anything like instantly winning for black? Um, I, I mean, I think a d takes c4, bishop takes c4, and I don't know, like perhaps taking an f3. Uh, a no 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 you know what the, what the move is actually no a6 i think because then after once again same idea as before uh, whenever the knight moves you have e5 forking the queen and the bishop I right and fair. now um now it's not even you don't even need the fork uh a6 mm -hmm. and, and now 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 that he played this he prepared it with uh bishop c6 i think it actually is just pinned so it hmm. should be pretty easy to spot now let's see if uh let's see if ibw goes in and plays it yep Yep, a6 just seems to be a really strong move. Taking advantage of the pin there. Once again, pin it to win it, everybody. That's how it is. Um, mm. All right, but he's not going for it. Mm. Okay, that queen needs to get out of there ASAP. Yeah, so... and this, is, uh, this, is, this is dicey. This is super dicey. Yeah. It's just like it's just uncomfortable. I mean, um, even even without having played uh, uh, a six there, it's just still like 
it's kind of like, what am I doing here? <laughs> this reminds me of like, you know, sometimes you like, you know, you, you go, I don't know. I remember like you go to a party or something where it's not really your, your scene, your crowd, you know, I feel like this queen this night, you know, went to some kind of <laughs> gathering and now they're like, what are we doing here? This is weird. <laughs> This is not, this is, this is weird. We got to get out of here. Yeah, we got to get out of here. <laughs> okay, he's getting out of there. That's good. That is really good. That was really good. He realized that the Queen of the Night just don't belong there. And, no. you know, they had to get out of there and they did it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's tough to pull the night out now, I will say. It's a little awkward to pull the night out. Like, because where, where does it, maybe it can, I mean, it could go further in, you know, I guess you could play, I mean, Knight D6 could yeah, be a thing. Yeah, that's totally just get it, uh, and then and then and you know, call it an outpost. A five, okay. Yeah, I mean he's not going for the a six, which made sense to kick the knight out. But I mean at the same time, once again, ninety six. It's sort of like it's a good square for the knight, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a pretty decent square. But yeah, the knight is a little bit awkward. But now this knight is gonna be just like you said, an outpost. It has an outpost there, and it's gonna stay there forever if it wants to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So yeah. even here yeah. on b five, right? Yep. I mean, it's not like it's the most active piece ever, but it's not like it's a bad piece either. So I don't see any problem with staying on B5. I feel like, yeah, I feel like IBW definitely has lost yeah. some of the advantage that he had before. Because sure, he could have sure. just won several pawns uh, way back. Perhaps even he could have won a piece at some point. So he had a huge advantage before, which I don't think he has anymore. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, that being said, though, it does feel like... Uh does feel like those pawns are starting to get pretty i don't know they're they're kind of they're, they're kind of starting to starting to starting to roll down the the board there and i'm i'm actually starting to see that um i feel like ibdw here his pieces actually have some pretty pretty decent uh synergy because um hmm. uh yeah it's just kind of annoying because for mars i mean he can't really do anything about this pawn on b4 now it's just so well fortified yeah definitely um, I think that this makes sense. Queen C7 is trying to, to pick up the knight on D6, win that pawn, and the knight cannot really go anywhere, so he's probably going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, yeah, I think that's something like placing a rook on the C file makes a lot of sense to, you know, to maybe be looking at taking on D5 at some point and just, you know, pinning this bishop. Uh, but there's no way of saving the pawn on D6, so IBDW is going to be winning a pawn. Yeah. Can he convert? Uh, the, the real question, I guess, is is you know, is there any way that he can convert to having a uh, you know, some of these? I mean, his pawns, honestly, his 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 pawns are pushed pretty far forward at this point. Um, if he can convert somehow into getting like a pass pawn, uh, that would be that would be really wonderful for him. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Happens, I, suppose. I think that that's definitely a plan. I think that he wants to get a pass pawn. I just think that you cannot really, or you shouldn't really, try to get a pass pawn. Um, or it depends on the situation, but here getting one of these like uh, pass pawns on on the side of the board, I feel like that's not really good when you still have a lot of pieces left because okay. it's going to be really easy to uh, just blockade to it or whatever. Pawn. Oh, or to, exactly. or to just lose it, sure, sure, sure. To just lose it. So, or even to just block it. So I feel like that's something that he's going to be waiting for. But for the end games, it's definitely going to be a lot better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, you know, we can see that Mars is going for a little sneaky checkmate. Bishop B1, I think the platform yeah. is going to go Queen D3 and Queen H7. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's probably the idea. And sometimes it works, you know? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, sometimes it works. A lot of ways, obviously, for, for IBW to kind of deflect it. But, um, and it is, I don't know, I, I, I do feel like it's a little bit of a cheapo in the sense that if it works, hey, that's great. But if it doesn't work, then it's like, well, now your rook on a one's kind of stuck there. Like your your rooks are no longer, you know, talking to each other. They're no longer connected, and the bishop looks a little bit funky there. Okay, now he's just not, and not, instantly, instantly, instantly. Yeah, no, <laughs> no way. Yeah, no way, sir. Nice try. That's a nice try. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just wanted to nice say try. out loud, Mars. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I respect it. I respect going for it. I respect going for it. No, nah, definitely. Um, you got to do it, especially when you're worse in a position. You got to go for these type of things. Because at some point, I mean, your opponent could fall for it, definitely. So, oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, and it would tilt you so much, too. If you, if you lost a game like that in a tournament, mm -hmm. best of three situation where you only, you know, you lose one more game, you're out. 
Uh, that would that would be so annoying. I feel like I would just be like destroyed mentally. Yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. It's the yeah. worst type of losing, basically, when you've just had such a such a great position and losing to uh, a little move like that. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst feeling. I would much rather I much rather lose games where I feel like they my opponent just played better than me. When you lose like that, it's just the worst. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, it just hurts. It just hurts. It really hurts. Actually, it really hurts. Um, okay, it's bringing the knight up. I think that's a pretty good move, centralizing the knight. If knight takes, then pawn takes. And you know, that pawn on e5 is probably going to be pretty good, solidified by this rook. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it, but I mean, the thing is that he just has the worst position, Mars, here. Um, and I think the reason for that is because his play, his play, his pieces are not really that well coordinated. The rook mm. is on i1, just like you said before. Um, I mean, he just has these pawns here. Is he a pawn down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's two mm -hmm. pawns down. Two even. pawns yeah. down. That makes a lot of sense. Sure. So. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't really. Don't really see what he can even really go for. Uh, there's. There's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta think, okay, well, you know, you push g6, and now there's some kind of dark square weaknesses around Black's King, but not so easy to exploit those when you don't have a dark square bishop anymore. Hmm. And, exactly. and it's it's just too easy to kind of deflect that sort of attack with with uh, you know, even if the knight tries to go to f6 at some point, um, and maybe try to get a checkmate on h7 or something. Well, that's that's just never gonna work because First of all, Black's Knight is already covering F6. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find a, a really good attacking idea here for, for Mars. So IBW can kind of sit, sit back and take his time. And taking his time, he is. He's thinking, thinking pretty deeply about this position right now. Yep. That's the thing I was just going to say. He can take his time, but don't take too much time because you know, you're starting to get into that time trouble situation. And we all know that when you get into that time trouble situation, anything can happen to anyone. So... Okay. We will we will see if that does happen. But now he's playing pretty fast. Queen c5. That that's a good square for the queen. To be honest, it's in the center and it's attacking the pawn on c4. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and yeah, I mean, in this position, Black just wants to exchange as many pieces as possible. Two pawns down, get into the end game, and then, um, yeah. That's yeah. If, that. if it, it it's the kind of thing where you know earlier on you were saying with so many pieces on the board those. Those pawns uh, over on the the queen side are, you know, pretty. They're they're going to be easy to stop. But if if enough if enough material gets traded off and we do go into an end game with IBW up so many more pawns, uh, those pawns are could could quickly become a concern uh, Big for Mars. Yeah. And again, that that bishop b one move, you know, it set up that little cheapo. But um, uh, oof, ouch, a three, and that's um, IBW has his pick of which pawn he wants to win here. Uh, yeah. C4 pawn is hanging right now, yep. No, I just like you said, you know, bishop e1 was this sort of, you know, <laughs> was going for that trick, but it's not really a good place for the bishop, as we can see here. Mm -hmm. Really hard for it to get active here. Yep, absolutely. Jeez. Man, look at the, yeah, those pawns are starting to look really menacing. So the C pawn, uh, C4 pawn now is, is a pass pawn, so it can start running. It's going to be pretty hard to obstruct. Um... Certainly, these other pawns. I mean, I think I think IBW could probably get some connected passers at this point uh, if he plays this correctly. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, these pawns. I was telling you to like not start pushing the pawns before the end game, but I mean, now there are just so many pawns that it's just it's just time to push them. You know, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. not a lot that White can do about it. So do you, here, do you capture with the uh, queen so that your pawns remain, you know, non doubled? Or would you prefer to capture with the uh, a pawn, or okay, he takes with the queen? Is is that what you would have done there? I would have probably taken with the a pawn because I just feel like those two pawns are going to be so fast. Like, okay, they're okay, really just so fast. Um, mm. especially because the pawn is already you know attacking a queen as well. But I don't think okay. there's anything wrong with queen takes. I just I would probably have preferred to take with the pawn. Sure, makes sense. Makes sense. But pawn takes you can even play um. <laughs> you're even threatening uh, rook a8, and then it's like you're forcing a trade of rooks because, again, that, that rook on a1 because of the bishop can't even decline the trade. Yeah. Uh, which would be very annoying. <gasps> oh, oh my! He sees it. Jeez. He sees it. 
Oh man, yeah. Ru- once ruthless. again, the bishop on b1, the cursed bishop on b1. Yeah, ugh, ugh, <laughs> Blocking so the <rook>. brutal. <laughs> Wow, and, and I mean, there's so many ways to win this at this point. Okay, yep. The, um, yeah, I mean, the bishop will, will be hanging here, but it's not, it's not like it really matters after, uh, because if he, ta- I don't think, I don't think white can take here, right? Because of, uh, white, white has, or sorry, black has, his queen takes e5, uh, black has rook, rook d1, the, the, the heavy pieces are just yeah. going to come in and, and walk all over. Yeah, lots of moves here. You're absolutely right. I don't really think that that's something that white can do. And I think that this is, you know, unfortunately, and I'm saying unfortunately because, well, I was coaching Marius and I was mm-hmm. rooting for him because of that, obviously. But, you know, unfortunately, I think that this is, I believe WS just played a really good game and I just don't think that there's anything to do here anymore. He's solid. He was super solid. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this so. is brutal for him. Okay. He plays it. So I think no he's Im- going to try something. Sure. But. I think no, no immediate checkmate. Uh, I think. Because, yeah, he's got, you know, G3 here, so. Hmm. Yeah, if the king goes down, then there's the... Whoops, if the king goes down, then there's the checkmate, but... but oh, yeah. but he takes the <laughs> other rook on, a, on A1. on a Sure. <laughs> Do whatever you want at this point. Again, so many ways to win. Yeah. Nah, this is... This hurts a little bit. This is uh, not a fun position to play. Mm-mm. Okay, bishop there. He's probably going to bring another rook in. Perhaps. Seems reasonable. Maybe go with the queen here and bring the rook in. There's just so many different things to do here. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, chat is saying it. Bishop b1 basically blundered two rooks. Yeah, that's the thing. Like the bishop on b1, because it wasn't connecting the rooks. We can see what happens when the rooks are not connected sometimes, that the rooks can become very weak and stuff like this can happen. Yeah, yeah, that's. Ugh, it's it's I like the I mean I, I I like to play moves like that 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 set up for you know that threaten a cheeky mate you know but I like to play those when it it doesn't um like it does it's not a big uh flaw in the position otherwise it's like if if they if they don't see it cool I get my easy mate mm. if they do see it well it's it's still not a bad move I like to play it when 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 the, when there's a little bit more when it's it's more than just hopeful this yeah. in this case it just felt like it was just he was just really hopeful wishful yeah. thinking wishful thinking yeah exactly exactly you know in a bully game obviously like just like you said like being threatened like threatening checkmates in one is a good thing because a lot of times you know it works but then that checkmate needs or placing the piece wherever you placed it to threaten that checkmate it needs to be like a pretty good square you shouldn't really be placing your pieces in bad squares to attack or to threaten checkmates Mm -hmm. all the time Mm -hmm. Um, and now he's getting uh rook a8 with tempo the rook can come to a1 and 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 he can just get get the battery and uh just charge in and checkmate the king. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just bring... oh, Okay, all right. He actually did blunder a rook here. With oh, yeah, with takes. uh with Bishop Tao, that's true. Yeah, he could have could have certainly taken that, but he's a... I feel like uh Mars might not even be in that mode where he's ready to see uh He's he's not ready to see counterattacking ideas. He's just kind of holding on for dear life at this point, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's the issue. I think that's the issue. Sometimes that happens, you know, when you're just you just really feel like even you're here, losing. Like, yeah, even here he's blundered the uh, and he since the IBW is primed yeah. to see those sorts of hanging pieces because he's looking for attacks. He's looking for yeah. which, by the way, I think is a lesson to 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 you know players of kind of this rating and my rating. It's like it's it's. Definitely easier to look for like these offensive ideas when you feel like yeah. you've got momentum, but you do have to, you know, take um, you do have to take opportunities even when you're losing to just kind of evaluate and say, wait, you know, your opponent could still blunder a piece. It's-